Oh, sir. Come on. No friends here. <laughs> thank you all for coming here this evening. And I want to thank uh, Chris Tolbert from the City Council to join us in the ribbon cutting with his large scissors. Uh, but before I go there, as I look out on here, I see friends, I see family, I see my wife somewhere, I know she's around here. Uh, I see uh, individuals that have been passionately involved with what we do, I see banking individuals, I see uh, other nonprofits. I see a whole host of people, and it makes me think, <laughs> why would you come to an re electronics recycling place on a cold Tuesday afternoon? And I got to thinking there might be a couple of reasons. One, we all love saving the planet. And I, mean that, I, I mean that seriously, because this stuff all used to go in the landfills, and we and our kids drink that water. So we all love recycling. That's one possible reason why you're here. The second possible reason, which is a good one, is that you know it's free, electronics, fast, and secure. And that's a good reason because I'm I was looking for a good value, and I hope you guys are too. <laughs> that's another good reason to consider why you might be here today. The third reason might be that you're just a tech geek. You just love this stuff, and you're a closet geek that wants to look at some old stuff, and you can go take a look in the back of me in one of the rooms. There's a bunch of old stuff. Go take a look at it and drool over your old, uh, your old technology because in three, four years from now, that would really be old technology. So that might be another reason. But that, by, by saying that, I'd like to say that that's, I hope, not the number one reason. We do electronics recycling. Everyone knows what that is. We break the stuff down and sell the commodities. As a social enterprise, we are 100% cash flowing, so we don't, I'm not going to have a hat here for you to throw money in, although if you want to, it's fine. We, earn this, the, the opportunity to have our 43 employees do this stuff. But, a little known fact that this doesn't happen here is we have a repurposing department over on the other side of uh, town in Golden Valley. The repurposing department takes this material that sometimes maybe just needs a new plug put in, you know, sometimes just the on-off button doesn't work, sometimes it's uh, like a phonograph that maybe the needle's missing, but is dusty. Sometimes it uh, needs new memory or needs a new hard drive put in. Kind of like what we do here. We repurpose people. We repurpose people that, that without an opportunity, we all become, become a, a situation where we don't lift them up and it brings us all down. So, what I get excited about, I get excited about these other things. I get excited about the fact of changing lives without taking money from someone else. We're taking it out of landfills, providing an opportunity. It's a double win. So with that, I'd appreciate some words from Chris. And I want to know, I want to know if that really works. <laughs> <laughs> and thank you everybody for coming out. I just should start by saying, for those of you who are disappointed that they were going to see the mayor speak, um, he sends his regards, he's sick. And uh, I, they had to call me up from the minor league, so. Uh, <laughs> or from the city council. I'm uh, Chris Tolbert, I represent um, Ward 3 on the St. Paul City Council. And uh, I'm, I'm pleased to be here today, partly because I was gonna be here anyways, um, because I'm so excited about this grand opening. My story starts with Tech Dump about maybe a year ago, maybe not even that, when I read the, there was a fantastic article in the business section of the Star Tribune about Tech Dump, and I said, Wow, this company recycles electronics, and not only does it do that, it gives jobs to people uh, who are trying to get back in the workplace but have serious um, issues of breaking that barrier of that first job. I said, this is like the ideal company. You, you would read this in a textbook. And so, of course, I have it up on my computer browser, and I'm like, all right, I got to call this person. It's on my list of people to call. And it's one of those things where you just forget to, forget to call, forget to call, forget to call. And then one day, I'm sitting in my um, city council office, and um, we're talking about the neighborhood cleanup. So I'm talking about it with Jane McClure, who I saw walk in, um, who is one of our leaders in the neighborhood cleanups and also um, a reporter for the Highland Villager and Access Press. And we're talking, I said, have you ever heard of this company called Tech Dump? And she goes, oh yeah, that's where Carl works. And, and she goes, I know him. Okay, I didn't see Carl. Okay, <laughs> that's where Carl works. And they work at all of our um, neighborhood cleanups. And I had, no, I had no idea. I mean, I would drop off my computers there. So she goes, I said, well, we got to get them in St. Paul. And we got together a meeting with Planning and Economic Development and Hunt from the Mayor's Office, Chris Hagman, uh, and
and uh, a few people from Tech Dump, and we met maybe four or five months ago. And as I, as we were talking about earlier, I left that meeting and I'm like, God, I, I think this is something that could really happen down the line, but you know, it's probably something that's going to be a year or two away. And all of a sudden, I get this invite to a Tech Dump grand opening. <laughs> I, I couldn't believe it, and I was so ecstatic. I don't know if I'm more excited because it's a new business in St. Paul, or I can finally get rid of that computer from college. <laughs> we'll take it. Which, of course, I forgot to bring today. Uh, but I'm so excited, and this is, a, this is a service that's so badly needed here in St. Paul. We don't have a place to drop off our electronics, and now we do. And on top of, on top of offering um, that service, which is badly needed, they offer jobs. Um, that are breaking down barriers. So we're so excited to have you in the city of St. Paul. I know all the residents across the city are going to be um, big users of this place. And uh, I look forward to working with you and, and making sure that you're successful. So thank you everybody for coming. Let's uh, cut this ribbon. Yeah. <laughs> we're going to have uh, one side held by Carl, who's actually our initial uh, first hire. And Aaron over here is the most recent hire. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Just kidding. Right. Oh. You twist the ribbon. Does it work? Does it work? Twist the ribbon a little so it's hot and straight and more flat for picture. Yeah. Oh, Aaron, you're good. Twist it. Twist it. You stay still. There it is. Oh! <laughs>